Hey guys, Features Gaming here. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we are back on Euro Truck Simulator 2 for another episode of the Trucking Career episode 88 today uh, of season 2. And today I've already picked up a job. And today I'm going to be taking some aircraft tyres. Bit of a interesting cargo, which is why I decided to take it. Unfortunately, it isn't in a cool trailer, which I would have liked to have been from Parma, where we ended out the last episode, all the way to Istanbul in Turkey. Uh, so that is what we're going to do today. Uh, I've already had a look through the map and see uh, what we have, and I've already picked up the job as well. So let's go ahead and head into the truck, and uh, let's get going. So let's put that up like that, and uh, let's just get going with the journey as we are all ready to go. Ready to start off this 1.2 thousand mile long job. I don't know how long it's going to take me in real life to do, but we're just going to go ahead and drive the route and just see where we get to. I have chosen a not so long journey as a hope of maybe seeing if I can get it done today. I mean, there was a job that was a bit longer, but again, it wasn't really an interesting cargo. So I just decided to do this route. You know, decent profit as well. Um, so we, uh, we're we going to be good. And hopefully by the end of this episode, we might, depending how much money we get, might be able to purchase a new garage. But we will see how that transpires by the end of the route. So just for now, I'm going to go and deliver this job. Hopefully it shouldn't take me too long to do. So I will go ahead. You're going to let me go. All right. Thank you, mate. I'm going to get to doing this job and I'll see you guys over at the destination.
Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light So we are nearly at the destination. We're about 40 minutes away. And I mean, it's been an okay route for the first half. And then for the second half, it's, uh, yeah, it's gone quite, um, quite bad. As you can see, it has rained during the thing. And I think as you saw in the time lapse as well, you may have seen that I went completely off the road as well because I hate when it rains the understeer you get in these trucks is insane like literally there's no grip at all and i literally just understeered off the road thankfully there were no cars around to for me to crash into and stuff like that so it was okay i guess on that regard but still wasn't really that good um another thing that happened is that car is not gonna let me merge thank you another thing is also when it was raining which this was actually a very good test to my ability and meant that I actually had to slow down 
it was foggy as well. So I was literally driving in rain, which already reduces your visibility, and fog. And there was a time in the journey where I literally could not see a thing. Like, I was trying to work out where my lane was on the motorway. It was so white on the screen that I could not see where I was on the on the on the road at all. I didn't know what lane I was in. I was trying to make it out for these white markings or at least some sort of you know clearance but literally I could not see a thing and it was very scary because I had no idea where I was and as a result of that I did crash unfortunately into a car because I literally did not see them as soon as I saw them I slammed on the brakes and put, applied the parking brake and I just could not stop in time so unfortunately it picks up a little bit of damage there I uh, picked up another da bit of damage as well because I then hit some roadworks because I couldn't see those honestly it was so scary man I couldn't see a thing so unfortunately there is a bit of damage on my truck and I have had a few engine malfunctions but hopefully uh, we can go ahead and fix that. We're earning stupid money into the bank anyway. So honestly, we don't need to worry at all. Well, we're, we're honestly kind of like Eddie Stobart, you know, we're making deliveries, you know, all the time and the money just keep, you know, the money is just rolling in and unfortunately, oh, we got a waste station here. Unfortunately, we don't have enough money to get another garage, but hopefully we'll be able to get that uh, maybe uh, more well, actually I might do a few journeys off camera um, just to get a lot of money into the company and then when we get like I don't know five million <laughs> then we can you know just go ahead and count five garages if you like but I might go ahead and do some um, journeys off camera and just see what I can do but yeah unfortunately I do have a bit of uh, engine damage that I will have to uh, fix that shouldn't be too bad that looks like a stadium over there to the left that's probably where the football team go maybe Keep or might be the f1 then thing the right. <laughs> you never know and um also a car decided to have a fight with the truck and uh yeah i think um i think we all know who won that one it was uh yours truly the truck driver i just saw a uh an aeroplane there as well, which looked quite cool. But yeah, apart from that, it's been quite well. It's so... Honestly, though, I did not like driving in the rain and fog. It was so scary. I literally could not see where I was going at all. Literally, it was just like white covering the screen. The only thing I could see was my cab. That's the only thing I could see. So... Yeah, it was honestly so sketchy. Oh, we're not going that way. Yeah, I think I uh, missed one of my turnings as well. But obviously with how weird the pro mods layouts are, I think you can forgive me. Because they are quite confusing but I think now we're going to make it to our destination with no problems at all so I think we need to be in this lane uh, to then turn off and then hopefully we should be at the destination here we go another one of the ads up there for a dog and a kit and a cat and a world of trucks advertisement board there as well in 50 meters, turn right. Turning right, and then just a short road down turn to the right. depot. So let's go ahead and turn it in here. Not that one, this turn one. Right. Here we are, at the FLE. You have arrived. I don't actually know if we have any damage on the goods, I hope not. But if we do, I guess it's fine. Because as I said, you know, we're earning stupid money in from the, uh, from our other drivers anyway. Right, looks like we're going to need to turn this around and reverse it in. Uh, okay, it's not actually too bad. It's not as narrow as I actually just initially thought, so. Let's go ahead and turn it around. 
That's the trailer over there. <laughs> Does this trailer have stable axles? I actually have no idea if it does. Well, we're about to have a look as we reverse this. Uh, I think it does, you know. Yeah, it has a steerable axle. Alright, so we go ahead and reverse it in. Not the straightest or so in the middle, but it'll do. It'll do for me, so let's go ahead and unattach the trailer. So it does say good work, yeah, so we're not going to get a perfect rating. 1.2% uh, damage, I mean, it's not that much, to be fair. Bit of XP and a bit of money. But there we go, I don't think we'll get a garage, uh, because we don't have enough money. So I think we'll conclude that video here. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it, that would be awesome, and thank you very much. Also, make sure to subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. But until then, take care and peace out.